We want to show you this CBS News poll, which found most Americans feel the nation's war on terrorism has been at least somewhat successful. Still, most do not think the U.S. accomplished what it set out to do in Afghanistan. That war was America's longest, claiming the lives of more than 2,200 U.S. servicemen and women. Tonight, CBS's Charlie Daggett is in neighboring Pakistan. Charlie. Errol, when America and its allies launched the offensive in Afghanistan in the wake of 9-11, they called it Operation Enduring Freedom. Now, once again, under Taliban control, any of the freedoms gained are quickly being taken away. White Taliban flags wave near the U.S. Embassy today. Taliban members strolling by everywhere. Intentional signs that the country is under new management. Normal rules do not apply. Now, just take a look at Kabul University, where a group of young women came to a class in a full burqa. They say, in support of the Taliban, going above and beyond current Taliban rules. The UN has raised the alarm on the Taliban crackdown on demonstrations, now banning them until further notice, and condemn the apparent brutal beating of journalists who are covering those demonstrations. And as we saw for ourselves at the border with Pakistan, the Taliban have been stopping Afghans from fleeing the country without the correct travel documents, which really makes up the majority of those wanting to get away. Now, here in Pakistan, we've been trying to get to the region where Navy SEALs killed Osama bin Laden back in 2011. The entire compound has been leveled. We're being told, the media has been told, it's strictly forbidden from entering that region, they say, over 9-11, because it's simply too sensitive. Errol? All right, Charlie Daggett, thank you.